everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I recently got a package in the mail with quite a few old Lilo's pet shops and it also comes with a play set and I thought it would be fun to open it together on video. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the package. Here's the package as you can see. So let's get them scissors and cut it open. First of all, we got the pets, which is usually the most exciting part. Oh my gosh, I see some true gems in here. And then the play set. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. These colors are cool. Here's the Lilo's Pet Shop Clubhouse, and I'm actually pretty sure that it looks familiar to you guys. There's also a dark purple version of this clubhouse, which is this one. As you can see, there's a difference in colors. The doors are different. They definitely have some different details, as you can see. And I like the version on the right so much better. I think it's it's awesome. And then there's also an orange version of this clubhouse, which I have displayed, which is displayed on the shelf with some of my little pet shop lucky pets. Let's take a closer look at the playset itself. So over here, it has an orange door. It has a little orange balcony over here with the little ceiling thing, which is fun. And then over here, it has a stand for like a bird or, um, well, only birds can stand on it pretty much. Then over here, we have flowers, two windows. Here's a big window, some more flower designs. Then we have the spinning thing here and we we can just open it up like that. Here on the side, we have a little entrance for your pets. Here's that spinning thing, which I just showed you. Here's another stand for a birdie. And then in the middle part of this play set, we have this sort of an elevator thing. Then in the middle, we have this little swing, which we can move, so that's cool. And then we have this um, leaf thing, which, which they can swing on, and you can actually put it from left to right, which I think is so cool. Honestly, the play sets from back in the day that Hasbro did were so much better than the ones that we, you know, that they make nowadays, and that's kind of sad. And then here on the side, we have the entrance. So this is the door, which I just showed you from the other side. So that's the orange door I showed you. And then over here, there's supposed to be a hammock, but that's missing, but that's totally fine. I really like this one, and obviously I did not need a third version of the clubhouse. Moving on to this bag, and I'm pretty sure it comes with 19 little pet shops and then it has some accessories which belong to this play set so let's open it up this is always fun so I'm gonna dump everything out and I'll show you every single little pet shop one by one so here's everything that comes inside of it. We have this little cart, which is super, super cute, and it is meant for pets with magnets, so that is G2 LPS. Then we have this blue ramp, which we can put into the clubhouse, which is awesome. And then we also have this skateboard, so they can, you know, go off this thing with the skateboard, yeah. Anyways, um, let's move on to the little pet shops. This clubhouse originally comes with this raccoon over here. Um, no ma'am, that is actually a squirrel and not a raccoon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, pets are so old. So they're still in pretty good condition. And then this monkey, which has an interesting facial expression. And I think his eyes are really interesting. I really like that actually. But since I believe this was an exclusive bonus pack edition, it comes with four bonus pets and I have three of them. So first of all, we have this sugar glider, which is really cute. It's a little scuffed up, but that's totally fine. It's still a really pretty little pet shop. And considering its age, it is actually still in a pretty good condition. Then one of the bonus pets is this turtle, which has pink little flowers on its shell, which is really cute. This one is in a wonderful condition. It has a blue magnet. Oh my gosh, good old days. And this one has an interesting pattern in the eye, which I love. And then the main reason why this listing caught my eye was because of this little guy. Oh my gosh, I love him. I've been wanting this golden retriever for quite some time and since it's a bonus pet, it is pretty hard to find. It has a few marks here and there and it could use a bath, but I'll definitely take care of that. I love this one so much. I think it has a pretty unique color on its body and then it has like this light blonde details on the ears, on the mouth area and then on the chest. Next up are these two sheepdogs, which are in pretty good condition. I really like these little pet shop sheepdogs. I think that's what they're called. It has a bow in his hair and yeah i really love the colors on these then we have some more pet pairs which are these two polar bears we have a white one and the blue one and they have very complementary colors as you can see the one on the left has blue spots and flower thingies and the one on the right has it in white so they're definitely a really good match and i got this super super old butterfly i actually just looked up its number and it's number 202 so that is such an old lps released back in 2004 or 2005 which has been such a while ago like time flies in a really 
good condition actually for its age. This one has a pink magnet. I love this one actually. I think they did an amazing job on the fading. Then we also got this dash hound, and as far as I know, this one is authentic. As you guys may know, I don't really collect Dick 5 LPS. I think they're a bit overrated, overhyped, but that's my personal opinion. They're still really cute, perfect for videos, skits, whatever. As you guys know, that's not the type of thing I usually do. Very cute dog. Love it. Love the design. It has some swirlies on the ears and on the head here. It has some sparks in your eyes, which are really cute, and it has some brown details on the paws and at the end of her tail, which is cute. Really like this one, and she's in a pretty good condition. Next up is this postcard pet. Persian cat, really cute. I always love this one so much. It has a rainbow going all over its face, on the paw, and even on the back and on a tail. Super, super detailed. It has flowers on its face, on the cheeks, and on the chest. And it has a cloud thingy around the eye, and it, it is just wonderful. This one is super detailed, and I think this one is awesome. Next up, we have another pet pair. We have a pigeon on the left, which is yellow. Super, super cute. And I love the lashes on the pigeon. Look at that. That is so extra. I love that. And then on the right, we have this um, cat. I'm not sure again what the type of cat is called, but that's okay. It's an orange cat. They both have the same pattern in the eyes, so they're a really good match. Super, super cute. And um, this one has green eyes and a lot of fun details. Then we have another pigeon, which is kind of bluish. I really love this one. It has really big eyes, just like the previous one. And this one is also very, very detailed. I really like this one. It has orange details and it has some hmm, kind of beige details on the eyes, around the beak, and then on its body. I really love this one. Next up is this brown bear, which I love, 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 love. It's so cute and it has little flowers in its eyes. And on the right, we have a really pretty deer, which is also very pretty. And it also has flowers in the eyes. I really like these two. And I think they look pretty realistic because of their colors and their color scheme. Besides the fact, of course, that they have flowers in their eyes and this one in its ears. Um, but these are just awesome. Nothing else to say. I just love these. And then we have this turtle, which is also really cute. The body is kind of textured. I'm not sure if you can tell, but that is awesome. That was really cute. That's a little turtle. Moving on to the last one, we have this little kitty cat, which is actually one of the newer ones from Generation 2. This one has a hole on the bottom, and this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I think she's kind of grayish, bluish, and then she has white and dark gray details on the paws, on the tail, and on the ear, which is adorable. Love it. Super Super cute kitten, love the eyes, and it's just an adorable pet. Yeah, that's fun. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below in what year you started collecting LPS. Like, are these pets familiar territory to you? Do you remember buying these in stores? Thanks a bunch for watching today's video, and I would love to see you in my next video. Bye, guys!